Yo guys, so this is Big Game right back with another Hogwarts Legacy video. Last one done well. We discovered more secrets. Unlocked another memory. I have, what? I forgot a name, but apparently the student we saw, the person we saw in the in the previous memories, has, has became was a student at Hogwarts and became a professor. Was teaching the four pe people, who, professors who were who one of the, them had the ability to see ancient magic like we do. But if you want the full details, go check out the last video. Anyways, enough of your ch chatting and let's take a little quests. Most of them are locked. Oh, what the hell is all this? You need to press level 12. Yeah, I need to. I need to learn the, the pulse. So. Wait, do I have the pulso? Do I have the pulso or not? The pulso. What's the... What's that pul... The pulso? No, I don't have the pulso. The sendo... Lipsendo... Ew... Oh... Gross, you're disgusting. Bombarda. What's always doing? Want me to do? It's what you, that's what you want me to do, not what I want. <laughs> Why do I just keep running to those people all the time? All the time. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate hmm. all of your help. Oh, sweet. Thanks. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Thank you for the upgrades. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. Have a it your may business. sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? I'll try and help. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank mm -hmm. you. Let's roll. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. My trust, my friendship, my secrets, my treasures, and I just... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Ew. Ew. Ugh. Ah. You need to reset with 12. Okay, maybe if I do... Once I do these two, I'll go... I'm going to head... I'm going to head straight to Hogsmeade. No, not, not Hogsmeade. Hogwarts Quinn Patch. The Quinn Patch. I was... Shame me... It's... I was really... I was... It's a shame that we... It's a shame. It's a real shame. Shame we couldn't. Uh, shame we couldn't go to. Shame, shame we couldn't play Quidditch. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Let's see. Let's see. 
Definitely increase the speed up a little bit. Oh, I see the bond now. What's this thing doing? Come on, there it is. Oh. Uh, what am I saying? What am I? Go to. Okay, what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do is test out this. Dude. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. You know what? You know what? You know what? Stop! Stop! Sorry, I'm really sorry, everyone. Lately, about this. First thing I'm gonna do is go to do my assignment assessment. Assessment. Then after that, I'm gonna go speak with this guy. Speak with her in Mother Reyes. I want to test out this new the room's new uh, capabilities. Now I can. Now now will be a whole lot easier to get around. But I still need to control, get to take control of this room. Carol is dead because of you, Carol. There we go. Sorry about the gibberish and everything else. I'm really, really sorry about that. I promise. I, I had to. I really got to work on those abilities. <sighs> Mild autism. I hate it. What the? Oh, you're wasting your time with her. How did I get mixed up in this? Go for the studs. To your knees! Defender! Place it! Don't do that! Incendio! Incendio! back at all! Ah, Venite! Just warming up! Explosive! Will you hold still? Incendio! Done! Expelliarmus! Confringo! Excellent! Patrick, because Tokai! 
Try that again. Let's try that again. I want to take the most of this. Guys. Oh, so I should have back to the potion shop to restock my potions. Can we make them? Wait, no, we can't make those. Just don't let the grenades for it. When we're done here, I and Elf. Oh, Explosion! Explosion! Expressive! Uh uh uh. uh, uh Incendio! Reductor! Trick What the hell? Why would you? Why'd you? Why would you? Keep on your. What's that? Ah! How did? I know. I'm not here. Real quick, don't go down easy. That's just a There we go. Uh, Woo! Didn't think I'll win that one. What am I saying? I 
just this quick here real quick. Whoa. I'll take that one. Sorry about the mumble and anything else. I'm so stupid. I'm gonna search around, see what I can find. Wait, there's one more left. What's that? I'm gonna buzz for my controller. Sebastian hears about this. An Ashwinder. Oh, sweet. I can get used to this ability. All right, let's go. After this, I need to go straight to, uh, to, to update. I'm oh, so sorry about that mumbling and everything else. I was... If I don't have any enemy camp back there, I think I just saw. I'll go back there. I'll I'll do that later after I do this. Back up there. Always do what you want to do. Know what I? What do we have up here? Ah 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 My face. My face. Gotcha. Do what, I'm gonna go home. Not good. Uh, what am I? Wait, what am I saying? Gotta go home? What am I saying? Doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I think I'm right. There should be something else around here. If I'm right, there should be. I was. Quite stately in its time. What's that symbol? Oh. I'm gonna take 
they, they. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. I'm a. I'm a uh, what are you doing? Huh. It doesn't matter. Let's focus on the quest right now. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Gryffindor. All right. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good for nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best. I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I... ...strong competition to stay on Sorry. top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Let's go. I'm ready to fly. Finally. A decent challenge. Yeah, if it's, not if it's competition. Also don't like the tone she's using. Didn't miss any rents this time. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We shall see. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, 
visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Uh, I'm so... Ew. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I take flying over water. Back to it. After this, I need to complete all the quests. After this, I need to go and play, do a main quest. After this, at another one, I need to do a main quest. It's been a bit grim, I won't deny, but the tide will turn. Now what? I'm going up. This is the right place, right? What is this? Ooh. Jesus Christ. Really? Like, your games are... Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Yeah. Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Didn't know what to find well you. done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say, and you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Those are the brown balls, right? Size deliberate movements. Oh. And circle. Next week. That's very good. <gasps> but this feels so different. It's okay. Right. 
I'll keep them. I, I may use them later practicing on. your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. Arrest the momentum. That's it. Keep it up. Arrest the momentum. All right, kid. Uh, next time. Next time. Who's next? Why don't we come out to Hawk Speed while on brooms? Some sort of shield charm. Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. Does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, oh, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. What do I do? What do I do next? Congratulations, you two. Congratulations, you two. No. Not you. Hello there. Nice to see you. Uh, can we talk? Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. Apparently it's because some, it's, apparently it's related are. to the Sword of Gryffindor. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. Took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us Wait, about is he what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him Maybe, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? 
I assume your interest is to do with the rumours I've heard yeah, about Randrock like working with our friend yeah. Rookwood. It is. And I, no, if he's not no, here, I have you might him. find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. Thanks. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thanks. Wait, wait, what have you heard about Ranrock and Rookwood? Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. Hey, uh, yeah, I will. Thank you. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please. What's your plan? Whatever. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, I'll meet. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm so. listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Mm. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. It sounds like a trap, though. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Very well, then. Arrest over men. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What is this gobble broke anyways? Well, Why would a witch want to steal it? To retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Erdgott. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins mm. believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Yeah, that's Wizard why I heard. Apparently, things differently. Apparently, the the whole reason why Finns are tense, but strange Finns are relationships between the goblins and the wizards are strange because a long time ago, when Godred Gryffindor, the founder of Gryffindor House and one of the founders of Hogwarts, made created sword, the sword of the Gryffindor sword, the goblin maker who want who created wanted it back, and that started a war between the wizards and that started. A fight between those two and it kind of ended and they eventually ended in a tyranny between uh, the strange relationship between wizards and commons as we know now 
That's just what. Yes, yeah, that's what I get. So I have a lot of. I have. I have, I have knowledge of Harry Potter lore outside of the books and movies. The differences between our kinds and myriad. They seem Thank to be. Thank you, movie flame, for that one. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. This doom entrance. Ah, and there it is. The witch's mm. tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Two of these. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. What about this helmet makes it so special? Is it the helmet of something? Urtgott is an ancient and storied relic. Forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please. This is gonna take me forever. Wait, what am I saying? It's sealed. Moths. Curious. My wife. My wife. My wife. What am I? S hmm. What do we have? Arrest the momentum. My wife. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I need to lure these mobs away? Hmm. Maybe Luminos. Lumos. Oh, I see. Here we go. Of course, moss attracted to a light. That's it. Here we go. Merlin's beard. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely, I need to go further. Agreed. Wait for someone to look around. Ugh. This is a 
Lumos. Need this. Hi. As if any of you can. There you go. Open up, please. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Definitely. Oh, great. It's guarded. By zombies, by skeletons. Or oh, something else. Infrai! Oh, no, not these. Power it looks like it could be rotated. Accio. Lumos. I'm missing one butterfly, one moth. Lumos. <sighs> you know. This has a moth imprinted on it. Same as the door. Yeah, I got that. Wait, maybe I should try Leviosa. Leviosa! No. No, no conjuring spell. How about... What's this? I don't understand. What am I supposed to do here? Lumos. Let's try and do what you want me to do. What do you mean? Not what I want. Hmm. 
I don't understand. Okay. Lumos. Wait a minute. Maybe if we can get up there, but how am I supposed to get up there? Yeah, I find that there's a third mall, but how am I supposed to move this? I don't get it. Maybe there's something else. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do I do? There we go. I should have used it. Lumos. It's right there. I'm so blind to it. There. Sorry, everyone. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Sorry, I don't know what's going Down I go. No other way. Geronimo! Oh! Lumos. What the? I was just, we were just here. Did I go the wrong way? I think I did. Yep, I went the wrong way. Okay. Okay, there's more moths around here. Oh, great! Oh, no, you don't. Right, so it's funny how much it's working against us. Only in sent only five spells work against these guys. Or fire objects do. Defender. Incendio. Incendio! 
incendiary. Lumos. Up, 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 Lumos. Who are you? This looks even more complex. Where'd the moth go? Oh wait, there it went. There it went. I hate Atherton so much. I hate my dad so much. I hate him. What am I saying? Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Sorry about sorry about the mumbling. Also. Lumos. Oh. The pulsar. Making this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. Lumos. Hmm. Lumos. There we go. Lumos. Uh, Lumos. Where are 
again, you are dead. And I will kill you. Oh. Lumos. Okay, this is okay. We got a problem here. How am I supposed to get all these? How am I supposed to get all these? How am I supposed to get all these favorite color? How am I supposed to get these moth, this moth, onto that platform? Lumos. I need to bring moths to the door. Yeah, I, I get that, but there's only one moth left. And I only need, I apparently need one more if I can do something about it. But there must be a way. I can't get all the moths back from the previous ones. Maybe I should look back around. My father. What are you talking about? Let me answer. I'll go to you. Hmm. Maybe I, I think there was a moth around here. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. That's moving. Lumos. What am I supposed to do here? I don't understand. Can someone please help me here? Alright, that's it. I need to figure this out. How do I solve the more puzzles?
I don't understand this. I don't, I, this doesn't make any sense. I'm missing one butterfly here. One moth, I mean. Lumos. Wait a minute. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Lumos. The whole time? Ugh. That's embarrassing. Look, you have to do another tutorial, but god damn it, it was right there the whole time. Which is final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. Just not to show this to Lodgok. I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Let's get out of here. I cannot believe it. We came here for nothing. Lord Gok, we got problems. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. I'm Damn, sorry. They got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. Maybe we should get some help. An entire camp of Rookwood's thieves. I might need assistance. Um, Unfortunately, we have no time. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. We gotta hurry. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Lumos. What is wrong? Revelio. What the hell? Why not let them finish the struggle? 
You've made a grave mistake. Over here. Defender. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Never mind. I'll check your pockets up here. Marvelous strike. Ah, the death from above. Expulsion. Expelliarmus. I should definitely have gotten help. What the? How? It doesn't matter. There we go. Hmm, Scorpion 2. I don't see the helmet anyway. Huh. Where's the helmet? I don't see anywhere. Whoa. Me? Me? Uh, what is it? Me? I don't care. Recover the helmet from the thieves. I don't get it. Hmm. 
That's it. Yeah, you are. Uh -oh. This is for Rookwood. Oh, Great. the light go out of your eye. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Here's the helmet back. I retrieved the helmet from the scuffle, but got there. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His Thanks. search? It, uh, Wait, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Beast costs. Let's go to that one next. There's a beast cost used to talk by Hagrid. Wait, no, that's the caramagical creatures. Not beasts. Why is that man hybrid to teach about? Let's see, what this, let's see what happens here. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. 
Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it in real time. Experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, a couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> uh, stupid thing. Oh. Uh. What in Merlin's uh. name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Coaches and training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. 
I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Psst, psst, over here. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. I'm not sure. What's this all about? You'll see. I promise you have nothing to fear. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Basically, like Bowen first. I wonder if we get to ride them. I don't have a buck beak. someone this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like I come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. 
But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Oh, I was wondering why we ever got to do this. We really need to get a little humora. I'll also do this one. Do I have the pulse of? Yeah, I do. Hmm. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Stupid bitch, stupid woman, stupid woman, stupid party, beauty of my wife. My wonderful, wonderful one. Oh. oh shit. The pulsar! Wonderful. It's like huge. Why? Akio! Uh, great, wait for the ride. 
Oh wait, never mind. Levioso, Akio. Levioso, Kapoor. Yes. Love you so. Oh, that completely completely filled it up. Now how do I get out? Oh, wait, what am I doing? No, I can't. How do I get out of here exactly? Akio. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.
Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. Oh, wait a minute, this is the protecting class. So we'll draw on a torch lesson, I think. Torch class, I think. I hope those assignments... I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, now then. as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? I honestly don't know, Professor. At times, the future is murky to us all. As with rippling water, one must wait for things to settle before the reflection becomes clear. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. Finally, I was wondering when we get to le learn this ab ability. Wait. I probably... Wait. Oh, wait, no, wait. Never mind. That's the wrong one. I thought, I thought it was a level of Homura. They are locking spell. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Descendo. Excellent. I think you have it. resource indeed your field guide I'm most pleased to be included does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade
Only a hairy hearted sod would trust me. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stalk so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear up. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Who needs keys when you know Alohomora? I can't imagine how muggles get by without magic. <laughs> Almost makes me feel a bit guilty. I wish I'd paid more attention when I was at Hogwarts. If something threatens me, First thing I cast is... What are you up to now? Huh. Oh, I'm up for a bacon and mushroom stew. Who's there? You will regret. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. I Pleased need to now hear it. May Professor spell. Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. 
Lungardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set... Wingardium yes. Leviosa. You're a natural. said that travel broadens the mind. Can you explain why I have... Let's play someone as court. I knew you'd come round. Ready to go? Hopefully this will give me the experience I need. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summon as court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Nothing to it. of good luck that's all come now leander there's no need for that fine you're good better than i am at least i'll let the others best know you're good time i ever was playing. someone's call the others i lost seven matches in a row to samantha dale the oh. others who play summoner's court thought that if you couldn't beat me you wouldn't be enough of a challenge chin up leander keep practicing and you'll get better i suppose you're right i'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed Finally, get a little more. That will help me a lot.
How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. To have us now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which incidentally can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk. Ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, a which boggart. takes the form of whatever scares you most. Oh yeah, I remember this those. Took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? <laughs> oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you.
Alohomora. I don't understand. I don't understand, like really I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, use an to his box or take the answer to both comments when the gears are released as to release the lock. Let's try that again. Alohomora.
Okay, this is taking me too long. I need to figure out how to do this. How to use a low. Here we are. Yeah, I don't get why this use band just made these complicated locks. Okay. Where's my where's the Alohomora? Alohomora. Years ago. There we go. Now I get it. Well, now I got gotcha. you. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. Restricted area of the castle, after all. Revelio. Poorly, I'd say. If that's so. We're raising a generation of coddled cake flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. You say that every year, Matilda. This must be the prefect's bathroom, Alohomora.
Gotcha. Okay, now I'm getting the hang of this spell. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this. <laughs> Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? <sighs> well, I've watched you guys out to Kara here. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next Hogwarts Legacy video. Peace out, everyone.